Y'all hear that? Waking up to form life. Beautiful day, 8 a.m. I'm about to get up and get my day started. Excuse me. I'm going to head out of here. Uh, the people at the forum invited me to stay through the Easter weekend and just enjoy myself on their property. But there is a lot of other stuff that I want to see uh, before I leave the Austin area. And I looked up another state park. I don't know how to pronounce the park, y'all, but it's not far from here. It's like 30 something minutes away and it's a beautiful park. So I want to head there and uh, see what's going on there. I am going to uh, pick my bed up, fix me some breakfast. I'm going to try to go live, but I don't know if I'm going to have much success in going live. But... Excuse me. I just want to say good morning. I slept with my door open last night. It's a little, little, little chilly, but I had my blanket on and everything. So, anywho, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all. I am fixing breakfast. My ground beef was frozen. I have my refrigerator on seven. And anything that's close to the back gets frozen. I wasted the other half on the floor. So, I have to cook my ground beef or warm it up first, let it get unthawed. Then I'm going to put my eggs up in there and scramble, 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 move this like this. Put my eggs in the middle. Scramble, scramble, scramble. I don't think I need to put any seasoning in my eggs because my meat is seasoned well. So, I'm going to let that finish thawing out because it was frozen. I think a couple of pieces are still frozen chunks. So, yeah, so I brought my breakfast over to the table outside. Here is breakfast. Eggs with ground beef. And I'm about to sit out in nature and eat. Yay!
welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. How are you guys doing? Come on in, thumbs up the video if you are my friend. I am here today on a five to six acre farm land, and I'm going to show you guys what five acres look like. I actually spent the night here last night, and I am uh, about to leave, but I wanted to show you guys what five acres look like. So you guys, I am at the front of the property. There is a gate at the front of the property. There is uh, a farm across the street with some cows. And this is the front of the property. They have a driveway. They have a electronic gate with a keypad to get in and out of the property. And the property goes all the way over there to the fence. So I don't know if you guys can see the fence but it goes all the way over to the other side this is the front of the property you can kind of see like the back of the property just a little bit and they do have vegetation on the property they do have chickens on the property and they also have bees on the property so the owner of the property is also a beekeeper and they do have some trees on the property. Uh, they have been experiencing a little drought. Uh, I haven't put my microphone on, so excuse the wind. I didn't put my microphone on. Uh, they do have some firewood from a few trees that they did uh, cut down. As you can see, the property is very beautiful. They have put a lot of time and effort and money into the property. Uh, they did put this road in. Uh, they had this road put in and the road goes all the way to the back of the property. It's fenced in. As I stated, they have a gate in that area. They have uh, the first set of bees and they do have a nice two-story house on the homestead and over here in this area they have more firewood little pop-up camper also a tractor and she also has some type of vegetation she is growing I think she said she has strawberries growing this year. I don't know if that is the strawberries right there, but she has planted some strawberries. And this is a Mexican persimmon tree right here. It smells so good, you guys. So, 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 so very good. There's not any uh, persimmons on here yet, but that is a Mexican persimmon tree. And back there where you see the blue and the red containers, that is her second uh, bee hive. Back there, she has plenty of signs saying that they're bees or beware of the bees and those are the chickens that are free ranging. More tractor supply. A little house right here. A little storage. That's my van where I camped it. The land goes all the way to that brown fence over there. I don't know what they're making right here if they're making a pond or not. Anyway, this is where I parked and slept it. This is my view of the property. I had a little picnic table, trees. I didn't want to be too much under the trees because I did want to get solar in. And this little path goes all the way to the back. 
and as you can see the fence line is over there the chickens can come all the way back here if they want to then they have a little barn in the back lots of trees And I book this, my stay here through Harvest Host. So if you guys are in an area and you can check, if you wanna come to a farm, a winery, or they have all different kinds of places that signed up for Harvest Host. So you can go and check it out and just go and spend a night and learn a little bit about how other people are living on their farms. See all this property back here. This is five to six acres. I can't remember if she told me it was five or six acres. And this is a shower in the back. And they were working on this yesterday. So that's a nice shower in the back. You can take a shower back here. And they are uh, building these pads for tents. In the future, they'll be having people come to camp and they can set their tents, tents up here. And this road goes all the way back here. The road comes all the way around. They had to pay to have this road in. Fencing to secure the property. And I think they have four or five of these little pads that they're gonna put up. And people can set their uh, tents on them. Nice, well-maintained property. And this gate right here leads out to a trail that goes up and you can stand up and see all the mountains and everything and see the beautiful sunset and everything i walked that way yesterday it was beautiful they have a porta potty it's a very windy day today and walk around this way they also have picnic tables seating a lounge chair beautiful beautiful whole family could be there eating lunch playing some card games board games and also they have a beautiful hammock right here And then my spot is over there. And as you can see, this is five acres, five to six acres, you guys. This is huge. Like, I think I can do something with five to six acres. I want it more than that, but I think five to six acres is very doable, especially for land that is not developed and you're gonna have to put a whole lot of hard work an effort into it uh, you might want to start off start off small with something like two to five acres but this is five to six acres and it is huge this is a lot of land enough to do something with enough to have your family members here or even to open up a little small uh, 
uh, bed, bath, bed and bath or a little campsite like they've done private camping. So, and of course I didn't show you guys like over there by their house, but you can see their house and they have plenty of room if they wanted to have more homes on the property or some tiny homes on the property. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go and lay in this hammock for a little while. And I will see you guys on down the road. I am going to a new location today. So thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. Stay tuned to find out where I'm going next. And if you're not subscribed to my other channel, Vanessa VIPB, make sure you subscribe to that channel. I go live over there every day. Double check and make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Look below the video. Look at the subscribe button and make sure it says subscribed with an ED after you. Double check and make sure you're subscribed. Then hit the bell and hit all so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. I'm about to lay in this hammock before I go. Y'all already know I'm about that hammock life. Okay, you guys, I am getting ready to leave. I just had a, ooh, I need to take this thing up. I just had a good conversation with the owner of the property. She told me to stop by this place that's right down the street. And she was like, it's a uh, place that is Uh, I don't know. She told me to stop by Jacob's Well. So I'm going to go to Jacob's Well. So let's get up out of here and ease on down the road. I got me some blue eggs. Never seen blue eggs before. But uh, she says something about some Americana chickens. So I got some blue eggs. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Let's go. I just arrived at Jacob's Well. I guess I am, I don't know, am I going right? Do I drive here? Do I walk down here? I don't know, but the lady at the farm that I stayed at told me to come and see this place. She say they have places like this all around this area but she said this is one of the ones that still have the water level or something she was trying to explain to me so i don't know if i hear water i don't know if i'm going 
in the right area or not but I see some people coming out so I guess I will ask them and uh, I will possibly go live from that spot when I if I see something that I want the people to see live so yay let's go I see them walking from that direction I don't know let's go this way and see what we can see looks like they have a trail Meditation through mindful walking. Okay, I guess you're supposed to walk that. So the well is this way. They also have a nature center. So we don't have anything else to do today. I'm one of those people that. I'm living life and wherever it takes me, we are free to go wherever life takes me. The lady told me about this place and we're here. It was right down the street and we are here. Picnic tables. picnic table underneath the tree. Okay, the whale and nature center. And I don't know, I guess this is a trail. Birds of Jacob's Whale Natural Area. Oh, we could do some bird what they got wild turkeys really I don't know. I thought she told me that they could swim. Maybe the water level is so low that they are not allowing swimming. Let's see what this sign says right here. Is watch your step. I'm getting hungry again. Okay. Yep. Watch your steps. Watch your step. Okay. 
careful. That's the lower axis. Let's go this way first. Let's go this way first. Yeah, I see some water. Look how clear the water is, y'all. It's really clear. It's really clear. So, the lady at the farm that I stayed at, she said that there are some underground wells or underground river. Look at this. Is that stairs? Is that stairs, y'all? Oops, I almost broke my neck. This is stairs. Wow, that is ooh, almost too much for an old lady. That is, ooh, girl, I'm almost, I'm almost too big to get through here. Look, uh, you're gonna have to be T90 to get through here. How do you get down? Oh my goodness, this is kind of scary right here. How am I supposed to get down here? I don't think this is a good idea right here. <laughs> oh, my legs aren't that long to make that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. And you got to be skinny to get in here. The kids went down there. The kids, they're young though. Oh, how did they do that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you have to be careful. How did they, oh, that's the whale, y'all. Oh, I wanna get down there, but. Here and see. So I'm going to go down that way. Go this way. And then go to your right. Go to your right. Oh, I think I'll be. I think I might. Well, this is not very. The other way was good to come down, but you had to be real skinny too to get through there. I barely made it. I was like, oh, love. I get what it means by it's so shallow. Okay. You wouldn't want to swim in this. Okay, yeah. What it, what it means to be young again. <laughs> So this is Jacob's well, you guys. Is it cold? Did anybody feel it? Yeah, I think they say all these springs are like 68. 
Do you want to look with these? Yeah. It looks the same actually. Sit down. Wait, how fast does this go down? How fast does it go down? Okay, but it's the shape isn't really attuned to going fast. Okay, y'all. So they have fish down up in there. I don't know if y'all can see them. So, I see the fish. They look like goldfish. I wish I could snorkel while I'd go down. <laughs> very, very, very interesting, you guys. And then the water goes over there. So when the water level is high, it will be feeding out of here into the yeah. ponds. You can swim. Yeah, when it's higher, I think the website said when it's higher, they allow you to swim in this area, but now it's too low. Yeah. Oh.